Hi, I'm back with another unboxing video, finally. It's been a while, been waiting and waiting for my Japan Crate box to show up, and today's the day! About freaking time. <laughs> As you can see, it's the April box. And we got... Those are the items that you can find inside. Bend it a little just curve it a little so you can see the bottom ones. The light doesn't reflect off it so much. Uh, I see a bonus. Strawberry Kit Kats. Ooh, goody, goody. And the back side of the little pamphlet. Looks like so. I also, as you saw by the title of the video, will be adding in a NapaJapan.com order I got. I actually got a while back. <laughs> it's been sitting next to my computer for a while. I've been waiting for my bot, my Japan crate so I can add it in. I didn't want to do a separate video because there's not a lot in it. So I just wanted to put them together. And I got various things. Uh, I got a new Pepsi. I got three different drinks here I'm going to try. I'm going to do... I don't know if I should do the... I think I'll save the two Napa Japan drinks for last for that box instead of putting them together. I don't want them to get too warm. I just got them out of the fridge. so. But I'll start off <clears throat> with something we've had before. And it's the J. Cola Pepsi Sakura. That's, that's just released in Japan. This Pepsi J. Cola Sakura drink is the perfect way to give cheers to the start of Sakura blooming and whelping Welping? <laughs> it's whelping! Welcoming! <laughs> the spring season Japan whelping. <laughs> Have a taste of the Hanama? Hana, hanami? Hanami. H A N A M I experience with this drink. We've had this before, though I think it was Coca Cola instead of Pepsi. I might be wrong, but I could have sworn it was that one. Has a very nice sweet smell to it. Here you can look now. Hmm. Interesting flavor. It's like a sprite in a way. Uh, but a little uh I wouldn't say tart. I mean it's sweet it's sweet. Not overpowering. It's very much like a Pepsi, but more like a combination of a Sprite Pepsi. Maybe uh, um, if you've ever tried Crystal Pepsi, it's like that. But with a, a flowery, you know, the Sakura type taste to it, which is hard to describe. It's almost... I don't know. It's... It's hard to describe. <laughs> it's good. I'm just, I'm just going to say it's good. <laughs> um, let's set this over here so it doesn't leak on my desk. I don't have a... I don't only have one of these to put it in, so I have to save my little can for that. There's several items in the box, it looks like. This time around, we've had many times before. I would like to see Japan Crate. Try to get more things that we haven't had before in the boxes. That's why I ordered from Napa, Japan, so I can try new things. It's like this. We've had this before. This is the... Where is it? I know it's the cookie. And I'm not seeing it for some... Oh, there it is. Os Osomano Washuromano. <laughs> okay. This delectable butter and cocoa soft cookie with a chocolate center is too delicious to pass up. Yeah, we've had these before. It hasn't been that long ago that I actually showed you this. It might have been a Tokyo treat. But as you can see, it's really nice. And uh, let's see, I'll crack it here. Mm. There we go. You can see there's a chocolate center to it there. Very good. It's like uh this is definitely a butter cookie. Um the chocolate's excellent. Kinda reminds me of that 
uh, that chocolate, that smearable chocolate you can buy. I forgot the name of it in the store. I'll put it down here in the bottom. We got some, mm, let's see. Let's go, well, so many goodies. I'll go to the little do-it-yourself kit here. Looks familiar. Okashi na Mizu Unmade Do-It-Yourself Kit. Whip up some delicious do-it-yourself grape goodness by making this sugary treat. Experience the individual flavors of Ramoon Soda, Lemon, and Strawberry from Japan individually. And then all at once for an astounding grape flavor. Hmm. Maybe I'm not... Maybe I haven't had this. Let's see. It looks familiar, though, the packaging. Um, you got, got a little tray and three different colored gels, plus a little stir stick there. So, mix them all together. It's got a fruity scent to it. Ah, here's something we've had before, and they're always good. This little grape. These are the, well, it's all is grape gum, but usually with these, as you can see from the expressions of the gumballs, you get two that are sweet and one that's really sour. It, I'm not going to try that because I've done it many times before. Oh, I got a little, uh, Rala, Ralakuma. A little ra, Ralakuma gummy. As you can see there. And that, uh, green apple and red, green and red apple. Do we get two? Unfortunately, no. Shoot, small things like this, you should give us both flavors. Uh, let's see, I'll open it up, see what, find out what the scent is like. If I can get my finger on this little flap, it's a tiny little pull flap on the side of it. There it goes. Really doesn't have a scent at all. Hmm. But you can see, once I pull it out, there he is. A little gummy. <laughs> hmm. Very nice. Got a little Ralakuma. Oh. Piece of gum. Uh, doesn't really say. This cute gum features the adorable San X duo, Relacuma and Cory Lacuma. Lacuma? There's two K's in that. It's really strange. <laughs> All right. We got a little uh, package here. Looks like gum. This is the Haichu. Yeah, Haichu minis. Very good. Craving something small, sweet, and fruity? This petite package is filled with round-shaped high juice with a mingle of Ramoon Soda, grape, peach, and lemon flavors. Ooh. Let's see. Kind of remind me of, like, if I can get my finger on this thing to open. They didn't give a flap. So, I'm going to have to use my razor blade. The handy utility. Yeah, we've had these before, but in different packaging. Little beads. Hmm. Little gum that. That's a nice ramoon. A little bit tart. Mostly sweet. Basically melts away in your mouth. <clears throat> and creates a lot of saliva. Um, this looks familiar. I think I showed you, I'm just going to have an itch, a whole bag of these I got before. Uh, Choco Pie, Kayo Matcha. Delight yourself with this limited release of Kayo Matcha Choco Pie, filled with a flavored green tea cream. Well, that's different. Between two moist round chocolate cakes, that's then covered with a chocolate ganchi. G A N A C H E. Ganashi, maybe? 
and you won't be able to get enough even with eight pieces well there's only one in the back in here so we didn't get a whole box whole bag of them <clears throat> they're basically a matcha version of a moon pie as you can see i want to pull it out it's a little well there we go they're good very good just like a moon pie just without the um marshmallow inside where did i put my there it is always have to have a towel handy now hmm, this is new good this is the sour long gum mini cola Experience the shake, pop, and fizzle of a cola drink in this long cola chewing chewing gum. It's extra chewy and stays sweet for a very long time. Hmm, interesting. So let's take a look at what it... Oh, okay, we've had something similar to this before. It's even got a hollow center. Hmm. I don't want to eat a whole chunk, but I got so much more. Um... Yeah, that's cola. That's that's pretty good. Can I have a swig of this? J Cola, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything small left? Nope. Now we go to something squiddy. It definitely looks like squid or squid flavored. Uh, if I can find it, I don't see it on here. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. That's unusual. We have everything else but this one. Oh, wait, there they are. Okay, it's hiding from my eyes. <laughs> Ika Ashi Arari. Fried to crispy perfection, this squid snack is a great salty treat. Is it squid, actual squid, or is it squid flavored? That's the thing. Well, it smells like squid or seafood. It's a good, good uh, scent to it. As you can see, they I think it's just flavored because it looks like rice. Very good. That's definitely rice. Nice uh, medium salty hit to it. It's not overpowering. The flavor is mostly salt and rice. I don't really taste seafood. It smells like it. The package looks like it. But as a squiddy flavor it's not there it has a seafood scent to it but that's about it but it's good though they are good ah these we've had before but they were um green pea flavored these are mini asparagus biscuits don't fret these butter biscuits don't taste like asparagus oh man i love asparagus it's just their fun shape this yummy treat tastes like an authentic piece of toast you would have in the morning for breakfast. Well, why call it asparagus then? And actually, that does well, they don't look like asparagus. That does not look like asparagus right there. It's, I mean, who in the right mind would think, well, that looks like an asparagus. Uh, it looks more like a, a mini baguette. <laughs> hmm. Taste-wise... They don't taste like toast. Uh, very mild salt. It's more like a shortbread cookie. That's what. That's what with the with the butter taste to them. They're nice, but the name is completely off. I mean, what's the point of calling something mini asparagus biscuits if they're not even not shaped or or taste like them? Um, 
Let's go to the mochi. Some little mochi balls here. You see, mochito pudding. Soft and squishy. Enjoy these fluffy and soft pudding flavor rice cakes. Mm, do they have any interior? Mochito purin. As you can see there. Oop, let me show you. Looks like a cracked egg on the side there. Mm. Little squishy things. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's something in the inside. Looks like an egg. Hmm. Okay. A little bland. No. They have a, a, a mild sugar taste to them. Problem is, you got to have something to drink. They're a little uh, gooey compared to other mochi balls. And they, because of the, that gooey uh, texture when you're eating them, it causes a slight gag reflex. Not much, just, just a minor bit. So compared to other mochi balls that we've had in the past, usually the ones, normally they have like a, a good powdered sugar coating on the outside. Eh, those are eh, not the greatest. We've had these before. Pineapple gummies. They're always good. I don't know if that's the same packaging. Ooh, good flavor. Some good scent. To the flavor. Hmm. As you can see, they're little wheels. And on the back side, they have a little pulse strap right there. So you get to them. And inside, the little colorful wheels. Hmm. It's good. It tastes just like a a fresh pineapple slice. And this looks like a honeydew melon, I guess. What are these? High Chew Premium, yep, honeydew melon. A, a whole new way to enjoy High Chew's mouth-watering melon flavor and take it on the go, too, in this resealable pouch. This version contains round-shaped High Chews that are crispy on the outside with a candy coating, and the center is chewy with a mochi-like consistency. Hmm, okay, let's see there. Let's see what we got here. Yep, it is resealable. That little, little balls inside. Got a ni really nice honeydew scent to them. Hmm. I'm not a honeydew fan myself, but one when it comes to candies flavored like that, mainly from Japan, of course, they're really good. And these are good, quite good. It's hmm. got a nice, proper honeydew flavor. Sweet. Um, the interior it has just a a mild tart uh, bite to it, but not much. And last, I got two salty things and two sweets. Ah, something I always like. Got some chocolate goodies. Hmm, boy, this is a word for you. Ta Takano Kono Sato. Oh, <laughs> Takano Kono Sato Cheesecake. Enjoy Meiji's seasonally limited cheesecake flavor of their bamboo shaped, bite sized almond cocoa cookies. Okay. Back side. Nothing on the side. They always have a little, little rip area right here. And inside we got a little bag with some artwork. Hmm. Nice little cones. You can see. Hmm. Interesting. Don't like cookies and cream. 
a little bit. But definitely cheesecake and flavor. Got that white chocolate cheesecake mixed with the ch the chocolate cookie. So it's it's a good flavor. I like it. And before I get to the last two salty things, I might as well finish off with the sweet. We got the Kit Kats. Strawberry Kit Kats. You don't really need to read anything about them. Boy, you can smell it right before when you open the bag. Inside are all red. They don't even show a picture on the outside of it of what they look like. I can't remember if I've tried these before or not. I might have ordered some in the past, but uh, you can see Kit Kats. Hmm. It's just strawberry, but when you bite it, when you taste it right away, it's got a str unusual little uh, tart bite to it. It doesn't, it's a little, almost like a tart, tart cheesecake in a way, with a cookie. It's not, it doesn't taste like a fresh strawberry, of course, but they're good, they're good, better than the other ones. I mean, they're better than the, the fake banana ones. Uh, oops, wait a minute. Let me move this right here so it doesn't leave a watermark on my desk. It's a drink from my Napa box. Okay. Let me move some of these back in the box here. I have some room. Oh, I need to seal this one up. My uh, squiddy crackers here. That one should be resealable. Now we have some Cheetos. Looks like gooey. Cheese Cheetos. Or Cheeto cheese. <laughs> Pretty much obvious. Try Japan's version of cheesy Cheetos. Originally an American born snack, it's made it made its way to Japan in 1975. Hmm. There's the, the back side. It even says new. <laughs> doesn't I guess you can call it a cheesy smell but I don't know it doesn't really hit you as a scent of like nacho cheese or something I mean you're just your normal Cheetos nice it's a good flavor well has a good cheesy flavor to it but it's just it tastes like your normal Cheetos to me. I mean, no. It does have a slight. I thought I had another clip. A slight uh, gooey cheese flavor, I guess you can call it. And now we have Coquilla Pride Potato. See there? These crispy, crunchy, and salty chips have a special flavor. Matcha powder is mixed with the salt to create a unique flavor. Eating salty flavored foods is considered sophisticated in Japan. Really? Okay. There's the back side of it. It's sophisticated to eat chips. <laughs> hmm. Unusual scent to them. Just your normal looking chip. Nice medium salt flavoring, not overpowering. I don't taste the matcha though. 
I mean, they're okay. I'm not, they're not bad. I'm not saying that, but they just taste y'all like your normal kettle cooked potato chip to me. I really don't see any difference in them. And that is the box. So, let's move on to my other box. And I'll start with the drinks so they don't get too warm on me here. Uh, Napa Japan is pretty good. They got really good prices. The only pricey uh, element is shipping. I mean, it depends on if you want to go surface to land, surface air land, or if you want to go air mail. And so it, it can go up a little price. That's why I didn't get too much. It's been a long time since I bought anything from any of the stores. And I said, eh, I'll try something new. I want to add something to one of my boxes. So I got lemon and vitamin C Coca-Cola. I like um, raspberry Coca-Cola is really good. And, and you can actually get them around here in the States. If you have a restaurant that has the inkjet style flavor machines, because I say that because the flavors are actually kept in inkjet type of cartridges that pop into them but they have the machines where you can pick all the different flavors you want you can mix them any way you want they have raspberry in there and those are good if you mix raspberry and cherry coca-cola together mm. it's not bad but mm. you could definitely taste the lemon mixed into it it adds a slightly tart consistency to it, to the Coca-Cola flavor. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about most soda drinks nowadays is the high fructose corn syrup they put in them. I'm trying to get away from that, but it's hard to do it when it's pretty much in everything. They even put that crap in in bread, in some breads. It's like, why would you put high fructose corn syrup in bread? <laughs> That's not even logical. Um, let me see here. Put it on my receipt here. And then my other soda I got was this Pepsi Refresh Shot. Now, they have two versions of this. Uh, yep. I have an old, an old bottle. They have the big one here. And then they have the small one. And I'm guessing this might be a little stronger in flavor compared to the other one. It basically tastes the same as Pepsi. There's a little bit, a minor flavor change. But it's more like like a pepper hit in a way. So I'm guessing that these might be a little stronger because of the small cans, but it could be like a miniature, like the mini Cokes and Pepsis that you can buy, which are the same size. So we'll see. Hmm. It's good. I mean, it's, pe it's Pepsi. It doesn't, doesn't taste any different than normal Pepsi, so I don't know. I think it's just a uh, label change. Now, oh, hello. I always love the name of these. Cream colon. <laughs> Your colon is full of cream. <laughs> but these are the strawberry version. And I've had these in the past. Actually, we've had them in our boxes. Fragrant Berry before. They're by Glico. We have a little pull tab right here on the side. Oops. Which did not want to rip right. There it goes. Like that. And you can see the package inside. Very much like that other one from Meiji. We've had some of these in, in the <clears throat> Japan Crate and Tokyo Treat boxes, but in different flavors like matcha. But they're little biscuits with strawberry flavor. Nice and soft, very much like a pastry, and they have excellent strawberry flavor. Every each one of the different col colon uh, snacks you can get, these have excellent flavor. 
So if you want to get some from the store, any of the stores, I would recommend those. And of course, you can't go wrong with Lottie. Here's Star looks Starberry Cheesecake. I think this is right. Um, yep. Yeah. Strawberry, strawberry custard, sorry. And here's the back side. I saw these. Oh, I haven't tried them before. This has got a little pull tab on the side. Which then allows you to lift the whole box up. It's got a little nice little interior, which they always do. A lot of you always goes the extra mile with their packaging. And then they rip open the box there and we've had these many times in different in our Tokyo treat in Japan crate you've seen in my past videos come in matcha chocolate vanilla uh, I think we've had strawberry before normal strawberry these are strawberry custard you can see the little pastries and they're so they're always great I mean these are just little pastry puffs mm. very nice yeah, it does. It has a strawberry cream. Nice. And got another strawberry. <laughs> I forgot I got so many strawberry things. It's more like April than May. These are the more Naga ones. Similar to the colon. Uh, but these like little half biscuits in a way and of course they taste really good excellent strawberry more like a strawberry cream very much like those pastries biscuit wise they have a slight crunch to them uh, but they're more of a like a hardened cream instead of a, a cream inside of a biscuit Got a, I forgot how many strawberry things I got in this thing. We got some of these, these strawberry shortcake ones. Now, this one we have had before, but it was very different in style. I think it was like three different flavors. The nice thing about these, they're actually chocolates. Little chocolate. Uh, look, let's see what's inside. They're white chocolate. Like that. Hmm. Hmm. Just a nice flavor mix between the, the white chocolate and the strawberry flavoring. Hmm. The sugar amount in it isn't too high. So that's pretty nice. Now, got three other things here. We got coochie, coochie. <laughs> but these, are the, I saw them. And, uh, these on the store, I said, like, "Oh, those look really interesting." Chocolate eclair. And there's the back side of it. And rip off top. They're all individually wrapped, so it doesn't need to have resealable. Here's the packaging of the little individual things. They're very cool looking. Oh, they're hard candy. Hmm. Um. Wait. It says chocolate eclair, but it. It almost has a coffee flavor to it. Like, it's not tiramisu, but it has a like a, like a tiramisu t flavor to it. It's very hard. Um, it's definitely not chocolate eclair. Well, Watch so that. I take that back. It 
it does have a flavoring of a chocolate eclair, sort of. If you mix it with coffee, a coffee, uh, like a, take a, yeah, coffee chocolate eclair. That's basically what it is. I'm not a coffee fan, but those are not bad. Those are pretty good. I think I broke my teeth. <laughs> Oh, my teeth are falling out. And now I got a gummy. I saw these hard boiled. Um, called Fettuccine Gummy Candy White Soda. And there's the back side. It's like hard boiled. That's an interesting name for a gummy. I not see anything else on there. It is resealable, so it makes me wonder if they're not... Oops, I'm trying to fall out of my hand. If I can get my hand in the... There it is. Hmm. Definitely smells like Ramun. Or a soda. As you can see there, coated in sugar. Hmm. Woo! Girl, they're a little tart. <laughs> A little tarter than I expected, but good. I love a nice che chewy gummy. Those have a, uh, it's almost like the sugar, the sugar hit on them is a, a little bit much, but not too bad, mainly because you're getting that sour hit from it. But it, the cola flavoring is excellent. It's a little like Coca-Cola or Pepsi. In that, in that type of flavoring. And lastly, we got, saw these, Mitsuya Cider. And different fla fruit flavors. And there's the back sign. With, it says with Haya. Gana, ganatsu, Haya Ganatsu, whatever that is. Uh, there's one of them right there. They don't really. Well, oh, there's a. What's that one? I'm not sure it said pink. Slide it. Is that. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the. Co okay, this, this is the Ramon flavor. Let's try something different on then we're moving. <clears throat> we'll go with the pink. Oh yeah. Oh boy, that's strong. That's peach. Wow, it's good. Look at that. I mean, you would not think something this small. It smells just like a fresh, fresh peach. Jeez, I've never smelled a candy. I mean, we've had one before, but I think it was a gum. Yeah, it was a gummy. But a hard candy that, that smells this perfect? Hmm. Taste-wise, it almost feels like it has... It does. It has a little bit of carbonation mixed into it. Flavor-wise, it's, it's very nice. It's uh, not as strong as the scent, but it does taste like a strong, a very good peach. A very good peach. Uh, very a nice fresh peach. So I'm I'm, I'm going to assume the others are just as good. I think they said on the website that they used they used actual the actual juice from the fruits in the making of them. So that's excellent. So, I recommend these if you go to Napa Japan or any other sites that sell them. That's all. I've covered everything. So, I hope you enjoyed. And definitely go get some Jap Japanese candies, especially these I just showed you. And enjoy. So, I'll see you when I get my Tokyo Treat Box. Thanks for watching.